Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, clear blue skies today, a bit of street photography. And because it's so bright and so uh, contrasty, I've decided I'm going to spend the day shooting shadows and reflections. So, let's go. Yeah, my plan was fairly straightforward. What I wanted to do was expose for the highlights and then maybe drop the exposure by one or two stops so that I definitely retained all the information in the highlight areas but also rendered the shadows quite dark and then when it came to post-processing I darkened the shadows even more and increased the contrast and just played around a little bit with a little bit of uh, dodge and burn uh, and created some quite contrasty images I think. Like most modern cities, Glasgow's quite reflective in that there's a lot of glass and steel on display now and when the sun's out that can create quite an interesting effect on nearby buildings as you pick up um, reflections and also deep dark shadows. So that's what I was going to play with today. I said earlier that what I was doing was I was exposing for the highlights. Now on a clear day like this the highlight is obviously the sky, that's the brightest thing in the subject. So I was trying to exclude the sky wherever possible and on occasions where I really needed to include the sky I was exposing for the sky and then rendering things as silhouettes or shadows uh, and that's how we came up with some of these images.
So if you're anything like me and blue skies and harsh light is a good enough reason not to go out with the camera, then hopefully this has given you some ideas for what you can do when the weather's just that wee bit too harsh for traditional landscape photography. Get out there and do a bit of street. Yeah, I'm liking this. Every now and again a person walks by and is silhouetted at the bottom. Just like that. And in good old Glasgow fashion, it's clouded over. So that might be the end of my harsh light photography. So that's it for another video. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a little thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the newsletter, then consider doing that. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.